All right, boys and girls, welcome to the drive-thru. We are live. Special shout out to Katie Good and Factor Labeling. Let's hear it for Katie. All right, so if you're watching this video, you care, and I appreciate that. I am only doing this video because this is a terrible problem. And if since I assigned it to you, I feel obligated to go through this painful explanation of this. This is the best I can do to explain this uh, problem. And I could be wrong. And um, this is why I don't turn the comments on for the video. So we've got a building. The building has a camera, and we've got all this information that is, to me, murky, meaning uh, it's confusing. We've got this sidewalk, okay? All right, part A, I think we can, uh, we can do, like we can get it right for sure. So. I guess I have to read this out loud. It's so confusing. A security camera is located on top of a building at a certain distance from a sidewalk. We're just going to do nothing for that right now. Of course, the building is a certain distance from the sidewalk. The camera revolves counterclockwise. We also don't care about that. At a steady rate of one revolution per minute. That's going to be important. One revolution in one minute. OK. At some point in the revolution, it directly faces a point on the sidewalk that's 20 meters from the camera. Okay. Four seconds later, it direct directly faces a point that is 10 meters down the sidewalk. Now, the four seconds later is going to give us that angle right there. Okay, So we've got to figure out how many degrees does this camera span or swoop in four seconds. Okay, Well, this is what factor labeling can help us with, also known as Liam labeling, because he's going to help me with this. So I think I'll say there's 360 degrees in one revolution, right? And then I would say uh, one minute has 60 seconds. And Liam, now what are we left with as far as our units goes? Degrees per second. So 360 divided by 60 is 6 degrees per second. So it said it rotated 4 seconds. So then how many degrees did it rotate? 24 degrees. OK, so that's the answer to part A. Yeah. OK. Part B, to the nearest tenth of a meter, how far is it? How far is the security camera from the sidewalk? Well, this is what we just had our big debate about. We think they want that distance the shortest distance, which makes this a right angle here. And we're going to do something like that. This is what we're looking for. OK, bless you. So we will say sine of 10. Somebody help me out with a calculator. Make sure your calculator is in degrees. Sine of 10 is to 24 like um, let's see. Jeez, will Pete's. Sine of 24, thank you, is to 10. Like sine of, uh, we'll say B, is to 20. So you, uh, you do cross multiply divide, then you got to do the sine inverse, and you get B equals 54.436. So we'll call it 54.4 degrees, 
which is what Gabby called it. Let's see, where does that go? Right here. Okay, so Gavs, can you now subtract uh, 180 minus 24 minus 54.4? What do you get? 101.7 degrees. And now can you do 180 minus that? Come on. 101.6. Okay, subtract that from 180, please. Okay, so now, according to this angle, which is acute, that's x opposite hypotenuse. So don't do law of sines. Do Oldsky Woltsky Sokotoa here. Sine of 78.4 is equal to x over 20. So x is 20 times the sine of 17.84. x equals 20 times the sine of 78.4. Is that 19.6? We actually got the answer that matches the answer key. Can I get a boom? boom. It's so weak. Boom!